Hi everyone, it is April 11, 2018. Did you know that Russia has their underground bunkers as well? And they are building a massive, or they were years ago, building a massive underground bunker for the Kremlin. But they have also built an awful lot of bomb shelters and underground shelters in Moscow to protect 100% of the population of the city. Wow. Representatives for the Russian Emergency Situations Ministry said that all bomb shelters and underground shelters in Moscow meant for the evacuation of people in case of a nuclear attack uh, or other emergencies were prepared and will be able to accommodate the entire population of the capital. Wow. Huh. And back in October of what year? I'm not sure. It, in 2016, October. Sorry. Um, the Russian Emergency Situations Ministry held a training, a civil defense training. And who participated? 40 million people. 40 million people, along with their professional rescue units and other professionals and medical professionals. But 40 million civilians participated in this training for civil defense. I'm bringing this up because a subscriber of mine, who I want to thank, left this link below my last video. Russia's state TV instructing Russian citizens to start preparing for the Armageddon. And these two Russian newscasters are telling Russians what they need to have to survive for a couple of years. And this was posted today. So with all of the war talk the build-up, Syria, Trump actually blaming Russia and Iran for Assad. Okay, um, the, well, look, this idea that we're the smartest and we're the most morally superior, unfortunately, living that delusion has brought us right to where we are today sitting ducks for World War III. Has our government prepared for war, for nuclear war, to protect Americans? No, they built underground bunkers for themselves. We paid for it, but those bunkers were for them, for them, not us. Doesn't that seem a little odd? Do you really think your government is there to protect you? It ain't. 